Hello, and welcome to the Desert Fabworks CNC Plasma Build Project. I'm Brian, the owner of Desert Fabworks. I'd like to introduce you to our project and kind of show you some things we're going to be doing during the course of the project. This is going to be a 4x8 custom CNC plasma machine build. And let's start off with our, our base of this project, our plasma table. A little hard to see right now, it's in the crate below us. The table is from Precision Plasma, it's the iPlasma series. It's going to be a 4x8 table. We're going to be doing a custom water table on it and adding some few features to it and customizing a little bit. We're going to take and get more into the table here in a little bit. First, we'll start off with our electronics. Over here, we've got our computer. The computer is custom built. We took and put it together, all the components, made it what we wanted. We added things in there like extra memory, solid state drive. It's really quick, more than you really need for a CNC machine, but we want to go a little bit higher end on this still kept it really budget friendly. Our electronics package is from C and CNC. It's a drag and cut system and this is what's going to be controlling the machine. Because we have a really lightweight gantry, we took and opted for the 300 ounce stepper motors. Those also came from CNC. We opted for a few of their accessories. We took and opted for the digital current probe so we can get a really accurate uh, account of what our bolts are during the cut. We got the digital torch height control, of course, which is definitely a needed accessory. And we also opted for the high t connect serial connection kit. That's going to interface with our plasma cutter. It's going to give us some really neat features of being able to control air, the uh, current, and, and a lot of other things during the cut. Give us really accurate cuts, especially in the corners and the turns. But we're going to get more into that during the course of our build. Here we have our hypertherm. Power Max 65. We got this from Baker Gas and Welding Supplies. Hypertherm makes a really great unit. We like a lot of the features that they built into this, and I'll go over a couple right here. We opted for the machine torch. It's a beautiful machine torch. It's going to give us really good cut quality. And because the machine is set up in a way with their Duramax torch series, we also got a handheld torch. It's a simple connection to take and unplug our machine torch and hook up our hand torch. So what this gives us the ability to do is have one plasma unit and one power source take and leave our machine torch hooked up all the time on our machine. Then if we need to use a hand torch, 25 foot length, we can use it elsewhere in the shop. We can take and move our plasma unit really easily. We can take it to a job site. Our machine torch stays set up, stays zeroed all the time and we can attach the, the handheld torch to it and use it to cut off material or anything else we want to use. Makes it very convenient for us being a small shop. We don't need to have multiple plasma cutters. We can have one and get a lot of different uses out of it. We also got from Baker Welding Gas Supply, we got the consumable kits for the machine torch. So we're going to be able to get down the road a long time uh, with that. During the course of the build, we're going to show you a few different things that you may not have seen before or used before. One of the things we talked about, we're going to be doing the water table. So a lot of people take and end up using just plain water or doing a homebrew mix of chemicals, which can be dangerous in the long run for health and other reasons. We found from Loop Corp a chemical called Green Cut. This is going to be a really neat feature to build. It's going to give us a additive that we can add into our water and allow us to keep the, the rust out the uh, algae, mold, odors, keep all those things away. It's a multi-purpose chemical as well. So we can use this for cutting in uh, band saws and, and other applications, but it's going to work great for a plasma cutter. It's environmentally friendly and it's also health friendly. You can go to our website and check out all the information on that. Also what we're going to be doing is we're going to be demoing some chemicals from Steel FX. Steel FX makes some chemicals that you use to take in bring your plasma cuts to life. You're taking in, taking plain steel and giving it a kick. They have a bunch of different effects that you can add with these different chemicals. You can add a, a copper type finish, you can add flame effects, uh, blackening, rusting. There's a whole bunch of chemicals as you can see here that we have to choose from. So we're going to be taking the plasma art, which we're getting from Cascade Metal Designs. They're going to take and provide us with some plasma art and we're going to take and cut those on the machine once we get done. And then we're going to use these chemicals from Steel FX to show you what you can really do and bring to your 
plasma cuts. Instead of just basic steel, we're going to kick it up a notch. So, like I said, that's going to be a, a nice feature at the end of the build. You're probably wondering what these 55 gallon poly drums are for. Well, we're going to try to do something a little bit different and use these for a sump system for our water table. We wanted to see something you know, on the cheap, but very functional and quality. So we're going to see if these are going to work out for us and give those a try. So this is the basis of our build. We've got some more features that are coming, some things we want to add aren't here yet, but you'll see those later in the build. So to get more information to follow the build, make sure you follow us on our website. The website is cncplasmabuild.com. cncplasmabuild.com. You can also find us on Facebook at desertfabworks.com. And uh, get more information on this build. Follow us. If you have questions, make sure you ask us, email us, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you. Look forward to more videos in the future. Thanks a lot.